Welcome to a special episode of Scary Tale Friday. This is the story of Bloody Mary. Once upon a time, there was an old maiden named Mary who lived in a little house at the edge of Tarzana. No one really cared about Mary. Apparently, she had been a successful actress in the 80s and wouldn't let anybody forget it. Every day, she would send her headshots to casting directors with little chocolates, wine, fancy nut mixes, with little hearts that said, I'm not desperate, love me. One day, Mary was in the grocery store buying everything pumpkin spice when she noticed a magazine that said, Top Young Actresses of 2014. Mary put down her pumpkin pie Pringles. It's a real thing. Look it up. And thumbed through the magazine. She was confronted with half-naked photos of 20-something women who were so stunningly smooth and perfect, one might be fooled into believing they weren't human. Mary was convinced that these young ladies were the one thing getting in the way of her success. So Mary hatched a plan. She stole the magazine, abandoning her pumpkin spice gum and her pumpkin spice vodka, and bought a book called Seances and other creepy stuff your mom told you not to do. For a while, no one saw Mary. She didn't leave her house. Some of the neighbors thought maybe she died, but after about three weeks, her front door opened. But the woman who came out wasn't haggard and has been at all. She was young and hot, and the whole neighborhood was like, damn girl, who dat? Maybe it's plastic surgery, said one woman. But Mary's skin looked vibrant and elastic, and not at all like someone had taken an ironing board to her face. Meanwhile, in the exciting and important parts of LA, movie stars seemed to be disappearing. Emma Watson was at the UN and then suddenly, poof, disappeared. Zoe Deschanel never showed up to the locally grown, unpasteurized, free-range, freegan, freshly brewed, pesticide-free food initiative meeting she had RSVP'd as a maybe to on Facebook. People thought maybe Olivia Wilde was gone, but they also didn't care that much. The CIA decided someone must be kidnapping these beautiful actresses and decided to keep tabs on all the most lovely and relevant ones. One day, as Jennifer Lawrence was interviewing for her strong, yet flawed, she's complicated character, she suddenly disappeared. The CIA followed a tracker and were taken straight to Mary's house. They busted down the door and saw beautiful Mary standing with thousands of tiny vials of blood. So yeah, Mary was taking the blood of young actresses and using it to make herself beautiful again. Pretty gross. The CIA decided to lock her up for life. I mean, if you mess with Jennifer Lawrence, people get pretty upset. Mary was excited about all of the attention she was getting from news reporters and the CIA at first. But after about the first three months in jail, her beauty faded and no one cared about her anymore. Not too long after that, Mary died. And now she haunts young women as they look at themselves in the mirror. So, if you ever see a bloody figure as you're looking in the mirror doing your makeup, just take it as a compliment. Some old, dead, desperate woman thinks you're hot. Come back next week for a regular Fairy Tale Friday, where I'll tell you the tale of the missing Snow White Dwarf, Horny, and his quest for happiness. Going to the bathroom in a romper requires more stretching than a yoga class. Hashtag girl problems. What's a romper? I don't know what a romper is. Don't know what a romper is? I'll tell you. It's a skirt that's really shorts, but it's also a dress. Hashtag one less girl problem.